Yes, Joshy Vlogs. I gotta, I gotta switch the batteries on my controller. So this one's running out. This should be a short video. I don't think I'm gonna play that much longer. But I thought I'd go a little further into this game. Uh, I'm not that inter interested in this game. It seems kind of basic, but I mean, it's it's not badly written. It's like it's pretty good. It's supposed to be short. Uh, I thought, at least based on that, even if I'm not enjoying it that much, I might try to finish it. Nope. <laughs> good point. Fair point. All right, so we stay here instead. Okay, inside the cave we've already explored. We're not gonna take the bird. Talk to the child. Hi there. I don't think they talk. Hello? I don't think they speak English. She doesn't understand. Hey kid, where am I? He doesn't understand. Bottles. They're not mine. Sick. Bottles. Woman. Alright, I guess he's not going to take anything from here. Hello? Where am I? No use, she doesn't understand. Okay, we got bottles and stuff. Which she won't take. Hello, where am I? Hello, can you hear me? You should just stay here. Live with them. I guess he wants to go home. Who are you? Where am I? You don't understand me, do you? Hi. Okay, these people suck. Hey! You're finally awake! What's going on? Where am I? I see Mongul still likes you. He wouldn't let us leave you alone in there, you know? I don't know what is going on. Who are you? Come on, I will explain it all. What is going on? Okay. Sounds good. I hope they tell him about how I saved them from the tiger. Yeah, they're probably telling him now. <laughs> you helped the scare over the tiger. Thank you. Can you please uh, explain what's going on here? Rest easy, stranger. We mean you no harm. Now, you are probably wondering who I am. Um, yes, please tell me. No, I just want to be home. Can you tell me where I'm where I am? Okay. Yes, please tell me. You can call me Kevin. What can I call you? My name is Yandi. Well, it's nice to meet you, Yandi. Now you must have some burning questions for me. Go ahead. Oh, um, where am I? You are in Orang Rimba village. We are deep in the jungle. How deep? I was on a job at Bukit Licken. Bukit Licken, that must be a good hundred miles away. A hundred miles away? I must have drifted downstream for longer than I thought. Um, okay. How did I get here? By them taking me here. Where are my possessions? We found your axe. Uh, this is most concerning to our people. The Orang Rimba, you come here and fell our trees. For this, we confiscated your axe. I... The Orang Rimba will not forgive you easily. We allow you to rest and recover, but you must leave as soon as we deem fit. If you could just give me back my radio, I can call for help. Thanks, and thank you for saving me and bringing me here. This is Yandi to Pending Logging. Come in. The battery is dead. I'm afraid some of the children, well, they took a liking to it. The battery has been drained. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I going to do now? You could stay here. Oh, but they said no. Um, uh, how did I get here? We found you lying face down on the forest floor, but you were breathing. We brought you back to our camp to recover, and here you stand before us. I was in an accident. My head hurts. We patched you up and let you rest in your, in your storage cave. Mungil decided to stand guard. He likes you. He growled at me in there. 
I didn't know what the hell was going on. Even our canine friends can be confused in the dark. Now you are in the light, stranger. Um, where are we but can I ask you some questions about where we're but go ahead. How long have you been based here? We are nomadic people. We moved here just a few days ago. Where were you before? About five miles downstream. We were Sweden farming down there. We were Sweden farming there. And it was time to move on. I don't know what that means. Uh, how do you survive out here? We have an abundance of food available in the forest. There are many things to do. Hunting, planting, harvesting, wild yams. Our people are very resourceful and connected to the land. That's too bad you can't stay with them because you're probably going to die if you don't. Are you worried about the future of the Orang Rimba? It is f getting harder for us to find land for our Sweden farming. I have no idea what Sweden farming is. So much of the forest around here is being cleared by loggers. It's all for palm oil and rubber plantations. If the loggers don't get the trees first, then the palm oil and rubber companies will just burn them all down. We will, however, prevail. I'm sure of that. We will surrender. We will never surrender our forests. What is Sweden farming? We clear a small section of the forest to plant things like cassava, sweet potatoes, and taro. Once the harvest is complete, we move on to allow the forest to regenerate. Trees are very important to our people. This is why we do not look fondly on you cutting them all down. Why are trees so important to your people? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what, what a stupid question. Trees are essential to our society and, and to human beings surviving on Earth, man. But when an Orang Rimpa is born, the birth cord is buried in the forest and a Santaberg tree is planted on top. Each of us maintain a sacred bond with that tree for the rest of our lives. We will protect our tree with our lives. To fell our tree is tantamount to murder in Orangrimba culture. Damn. Ooh, uh. So, okay. Ramdon? Have you seen my friend Ramdon passing through here? Your friend Ramdon? Yeah, I think he was caught up in the same accident as me. I saw some footprints that I think might have been his. I've even found some more evidence that you'd been around than I blacked out. A fellow logger, is he? Yes, he's also my best friend. I'm worried about him. Unfortunately for you, and perhaps unfortunately for us, we haven't seen any loggers in this spot yet. I am sorry. Okay, Kevin? How can you speak my language? Since I was young, I dreamed of leaving the jungle, and one day I did. I spent a few years living in Jakarta. I worked in bars, restaurants, learned the language. Why did you come back? Family, I missed them. The trek back here was arduous, almost killed me, but here I am. You see, when I was here, I dreamed of being there. And when I was there, I dreamed of being back in the jungle. Okay. Can you help me get back to town? Unfortunately, I cannot. You saw with your own eyes the dangers we face here. I cannot leave my people here on their own. My duty to be here is to be here for them. Please? The journey out there out will take days. Your best bet is to rest up, prepare for your journey. I will point you in the right direction when the time comes. Kevin, you're leaving this guy to die. You're an asshole. You're you're a murderer. There's no way I could survive out there. I need you to I need to call for help. Do you have any spare batteries? Look around you. Does it look like we have any spare batteries? Is your name really Kevin? My orang rimba name is Sigun Yang. Sigun Gang, but please call me Kevin. I like how it sounds very Hollywood, you know? <laughs> Jesus, Kevin's hilarious. Do you have any stories from your time in Jakarta? I have too many stories to tell, Yandi. Go on. Don't you have things to get on with? <laughs> he, he's, he's seeing through my, my brown nose like, to save my own life. So I think I already said Ram then. Go back. Okay, ask about the jungle. Ask about animals. That's a good idea. I'd like to ask you some questions about animals in the area. By all means, which animals? Uh, tigers. What was the deal with that tiger? I thank you again for helping us. Our community is somewhat vulnerable when the men are out hunting. I'm sorry I fed it your bird. 
Ha! You did what you had to. We can always catch another bird. We worship a tiger god named Mergo, you know? We believe tigers to be helpful for those who have lost their way. Hmm, tigers don't seem very helpful. Keep it in mind, Yandi. Alright, I will. Dogs. This dog is rather excited to see me. Mulgil is a playful pooch. Don't mind him. He won't hurt you. Go back. Go back. See you later. Take a look around, rest, but be wary. The jungle holds many dangers. Oh, I am wary. Perhaps he's right. I should take a look around. Okay. Also, I need to fix my radio, and it's my best chance to get out of here. One more thing. Some city folk are camped not too far away from here. They may be able to help you. Really? You could have told me that already. Uh, head further past the spot where you found me. You will come across their camp. Thank you. I should probably do that right now. But let's go this way. I want to see what's over here. Yeah. Okay, it's saved, right? Yeah. River. The water is warm. Water, one of my worst fears. Yeah. After what happened to him, I don't blame him. Let's go. I like this game. It's like really simple, but it's great. Um, yeah, I'm loving it. All right, I like this game a lot. This game is so simple. I'm considering a 10 out of 10 rating for just you know like I, I think you can make it like a simple little game. You know, there's, there's not that much to it, um, and you know it's on discount. You get it real cheap. Um, you know, uh, I'm open to the possibility that it might be a perfect game. Okay, I was supposed to go the other way, but let's just let's just play around first. Let's get lost. What's the worst that could happen? Flower. We got a flower. Nice. New item. Pink flower. Huh, I thought there's something down here, but apparently there's not. Huge tree. Why would you try to climb that? Are you crazy? I've always been terrible at climbing. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I, I don't know about that, but but... If you're not good at climbing, definitely don't try to climb that. Those sounds do not sound safe. All right, we got some more flowers things. Is he allergic? Oh my God, the smell. Okay, so you can't go that way unless I find some way to um, mask the smell. Uh, okay, let's see. What's, what's with this pink flower? Charming pink flower. Okay, I can't. Uh, well, you can give it to a woman, and then she'll want to marry you. And then if you do that, maybe. I think the campers might be around here. Nope. Okay, what about this way? Okay, interesting. Then, then if you can get the bees, I love honey. Okay, he's more excited about that than I expected. Burnt area. Looks like someone started a fire here quite a long time ago. Um, okay, we can use the flower on the bees? Maybe. And then you put the, the bees go to the flower and then you get the honey. I don't know. There's not much I can do from down here. Alright, so I think we're done here. We've fully explored. It's time to meet these campers. Huh, I thought the campers would be over here, but instead it's a bear. Oh, but the campers must be down here then. Should we go into the cave entrance? I'm sure Yandi won't want to go in there. Hmm, I'm not sure if I should. Should the bear must be in there? 
Go in, Yandi. You'll be fine. I saved the game. Enter the cave. Not right now. Oh, enter, the, enter the cave. I'm going to have to be brave if I want to survive out here. No, you're not. I'm wondering if, if you can die in this game. Because so far, I haven't been able to die. I can't see a thing. I need a light. Alright, well, that one. Okay. Well, that settles that. Okay. So I think the camp might be over here. But let's go this way first. Um. Ah, I found another um, river area. Water is warm. He's got a lighter. Oh, that's what I need. Hello. I guess you can't understand me either. He's too busy playing with his lighter to even care about my presence. All right, we want the lighter. Maybe we could try to trade him the flower. Um, maybe he'll think we're in love with him. Are you interested in trading your lighter for this? I guess not. It was worth a try. Okay, this way. Hey, we found the people. Satellite dishes, communication. My salvation. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Oh. Hmm. The door. Padlock with a huge padlock. Hello, anyone home? It seems like there's no one inside. Okay. I think my axe could break through this padlock. I should try to get it back from Orang Rimba. All right. We haven't given up on the axe. I don't think they're going to take kindly to me wanting an axe, being a logger and everything. Probably not a smart idea to try to ask for an axe back. This character is very sensible. And usually in games like this, they let you have lots of like crazy fun deaths. Like that's what that's like the idea of King's Quest. It's like you, you click on any little thing and it's like you die and they, you die in some ridiculous funny way. Um, but this character is sensible and just doesn't wind up dying generally. They should let me stay. Maybe they're considering letting me stay. Um, I did. Uh, I'm smart. You know, I saved. I'm brave. I saved them from a tiger. I should. I should stay. And I won't die if I stay. There's a pig here. Someone probably went to a lot of trouble to hunt this wild pig. I shall leave it be. Kevin? Is everything okay? Those men looked anxious. They have been out looking for Nigaring's uh, missing child. Yandi, if you see a little boy out in the forest, please let me know, okay? Sure. But we did see one. How long has he been missing for? It's been several hours. Nagarang is so worried. The jungle can be an unforgiving place, especially for one so young. We saw the boy with a lighter. Uh, I need my axe back. I've already asked him about everything. I need my axe back. I'm afraid that will not be possible. But I need it. You are not popular here, Yandi. They don't know you. To get your axe back, you will need to win the trust of the people. Okay. Uh, what do I need to do to win the trust of your people? Yeah, I already saved your bitches from a tiger. Ask around. They might need your help. If you start... If you help them enough and they start trusting you, we may be able to return your axe. We need to be able to trust you. They are worried you will use it to further destroy our forest. I won't, I promise. Speak to them. I will come and assist the translation when needed. Thank you for coming. See you later. Bye. Okay. Um, okay. Um. Okay. 
Um, let's talk to this child. Hello. Haha, <laughs> you won't get much out of her. She doesn't even talk to her own mother. Why not? Who knows? I believe in the city you'd call it the terrible twins. I see. Okay. Hi there. If you wish to get your axe back, perhaps you can help Tia. I will ask her for you. She would like you to fill her water bottle. Is that all? Yes. Fetch Tila some water and she will forgive you for bringing an axe into our community. I didn't exactly aim to end up in your community. Tut, do you want forgiveness or not? Sure, I would be happy to get some water for this lady. Where is her bottle? You can use the one sitting over there by itself. Sure. Okay, this one? Okay. New item, plastic bottle. This water is warm. If it's warm, that means it's no good, right? Well, I can try. Maybe I'll just save just in case. Um. I'm probably supposed to go to that other river because this water's warm. Camper, the bottle is leaking everywhere. It's covered in little holes. Looks like the dog has been biting it. Or no. I don't see how that would help. Should I get a different bottle? Those are, they're not mine to take. Okay. Well, I guess I can try handing this to her. Your bottle is broken? She's laughing at me. I'm afraid she says you have to fill that particular bottle with water. But, that's the deal. Okay. Okay, we should try talking to a different person. Get a new mission. Hello! Let me ask Malika and Sumping if they require your assistance. Thank you. There is a rattan tree that grows in the jungle which produces a special fruit. The fruit is covered in resin which is crushed and used to make a dye that these ladies will use in their weaving. They would like you to obtain the fruit for this of this radin for them. It is known as dragon's blood. Dragon's blood sounds ominous. The color of the dye created from the fruit is red, hence the name. If you need more information, come ask me uh, later and I will, can tell you more about it. Thanks. Uh, okay, let's tell tell me about it now. Hello again. Uh, oh, about the jungle. About the plants. I want to ask you about some plants. Which ones? Dragon's blood. Oh, weird smelly flowers. Also. Where can I find dragon's blood? Dragon's blood is a kind of resin that grows from a fruit which grows on a certain type of rotten tree. The fruit resembles a dangling bunch of red grapes. We have not fully explored this area yet. I'm sure such a rotten tree is growing around here somewhere. Okay. Uh, weird smelly red flowers. What are those red flowers with the revolting smell that are growing close to your settlement? Ha! Huh? I believe you would call them corpse flowers. My advice is stay away. I will. Okay, go back, go back, go back. See you later. Um, huh. Alright, let me get, uh, is that tree 
I can just see the tree. I'm pretty sure I can't do it. I can't do anything with it yet, but is that big tree over there? Is it this one? Is this the riding tree? Wow. That's the tallest tree I've ever seen. Taller than any crane we have at the company. Alright. I don't know. Um, I don't think I've spotted this riding tree anywhere. With the dangling fruit. I mean, I can't get by the tiger, right? The tiger's still there. Probably. Maybe it's worth a try. Nope. <laughs> okay. So I know I know what I, I know what kind of fruit they want the dragon fruit. I just don't know how I don't know where it where it could be or, or how to get to it. Probably a giant tree. Hello. Yandi, I will ask Nidang Bujang if you can help her in any way. Thank you. Um, what did you say? I don't really want to tell you all the details. Let's just say it involved the insertion of an arrow. Oh. Yes, yeah, she doesn't need help making her bow. She'd rather use it on you. Don't worry. Don't bother Nina Bujang. She won't bother you. Okay, what about this lady? Hi. Yandi, I will ask Nyorak if she requires any assistance. Thank you. Our stock of wild yam is running very low. Empty, in fact. Since we moved uh, camp here, we have not been successful in finding a patch of wild yams growing anywhere. Nyorak would like you to find a patch of wild yams and bring her one as proof. She will then send her men to fetch the rest. Sure, I will find some wild yams. Oh. Good news, the tiger has left the area. Now you can explore the jungle around the camp, but still be careful. Excellent. Okay, nice. Uh, so there's a new area to go to. I saw a kid with lighter. Should I tell him? About people. The missing child. Uh, what is the child's name? Ika. He's a little ball of energy. He could be anywhere. The child is always running around getting into mischief. I wouldn't be surprised if he has got himself stuck up a tree. All right, I don't think it's the same person with the lighter. I think I, that's probably like a teenager or maybe even a young adult. But you also imagine the worst. I'm sure you'll find him. The elders are murmuring about Hantu Pednik, but I don't subscribe to such a legend. Mm. Where is Nigerung? She's in the hut over there. Still hasn't left since he went missing. She won't leave until we find him. When I came back from Jakarta, I bought some toys for the children. Ika has one of those toys, a doll. He has never seen without it. His mother jokes she has two children, Ika and his doll. Where was the child last seen? His mother saw him running off into the jungle beyond where you see the pig hung on the tree. He hasn't been seen since. Oh, maybe we went into the bear cave. That'd be weird. I think it could also be up in the tree. That might make more sense. Uh, what is the Hantu Pendek? The short ghosts. Rather than more than a... Nothing more than a folk story. The elders think the child was taken by ghosts? Possibly. Their beliefs are traditional. I don't believe in ghosts and demons, but some of our people still do. Spooky stuff. Uh, what else can you tell me about the Hantu Pendek? According to the elders, Hantu Pendek travel in groups of six or so. My great uncle, who has since passed, swore he was ambushed by the Hantu Pendek when he was out hunting as a youth. That's what they do, apparently. Ambush hunters and threaten them with ghostly axes. Sounds terrifying. Terrifyingly far-fetched. 
But perhaps those stories have some basis in reality. Who knows? Where was... Oh, go back. Okay. Um, city folks. Can you tell me more about the city folks you mentioned? I know little of them. From what I've heard, I believe them to be scientists or researchers of some kind. What are they researching? I don't have a clue. Someone in our community, Nejang Rang, uh, traded some items with one of them. He's out at the moment, but he'll be back later. I think he has a lighter from them. Very helpful here, as you could imagine. Let me know if you see him, actually. I'd like to talk to him. Sure. I did see him. Nejang. I think I found Nejang. Oh. I saw a man playing with a lighter down by the stream. That sounds like Nejang. Do you think you could ask him if I could borrow his lighter? He won't part with such a valuable item. He traded his gem collection to get it. Gem collection? Yes, he's rather fond of shiny things. Nejarang. Maybe you could trade with him if you've come across something shiny enough. Sounds good. Hmm, okay. What do I need to do for your people again? You need to get some dragon's blood from Melika and something. Fill a water bottle for Tiha. And Nyorak needs a wild yam. Please bring back Negarong's little boy to us. He has still not returned. See you later. Bye. Maybe I can give the flower to this girl, and then she'll like me. I don't wish to give her that. Okay. Because you're greedy. That's why. Alright, I guess we go this way then. I feel like we fully explored the other way. Something's happening. Yadi! See you tomorrow. No, wait, before you go, I want you to meet Adirana. She's Marshandu's friend from Palambang. Hi. Hi. Marshanda and I are busy tonight. Maybe you would be able to show Adirana around the town. Uh, you and Marshanda are too busy to spend time with your guests? Sure. That's the spirit. Uh, I just moved here last week and my and I've been so busy setting up my home that I haven't had a chance to go out. I really need a drink. I'll leave you two to it. Okay. So. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Alright. Um, alright. Is there... Uh, there's access down here. I was just uh, just double-checking that. Huh, okay. Elephant, we found him. Oh, dear. He's like, no. There's no way I'm getting any closer to this elephant. It could kill me in an instant. What a majestic beast. Oh, fruit bush. Is that the yams? What a strange fruit. It has a hard, nutty skin. It smells nutty. New item, brown fruit. Hmm. Okay. Should I give it to the elephant? You need this. I don't think the elephant will be too worried about that. Okay. Um, I think we're good. Let's go then. Well, I think he, he knows what a yam looks like, so it's not a yam. And I think he knows what the blood fruit look like, too. And the blood fruit are going to be on that particular tree, so it's not blood fruit. Lily pad. Take the lily pad. Quite beautiful. It feels like it could support a slight weight. Um, right. You want to put something on it? You want to put a flower on it? Hmm, that would not sit on the lily pad. Okay. That would not sound really bad. Hmm. That would not sound a lily pad. Nothing will sound a lily pad according to you. You're just like in love with the damn lily pad. 
Hey, nice job. All right, he wants to put things on the lily pad, but nothing's good enough for his lily pad. He's crazy. I can't deal with him. It's all lily pads. Lily pads, lily pads, lily pads. 